In this tutorial, we are going to see how to install SPSS version 29. So we go, we click SPSS and we can run as administrator or we can simply just uh, double click and it will open. Before this, you need to install, let's say download SPSS for Mac or Windows and then you can do this operation. So here it says preparing to install. So I will just click next, etc. And then I will accept the license terms. Here, if I have another version, I need to go back and rename that version so that it will not override it or delete it. So after renaming the folder, this is just optional in case you have another one. So you can just proceed to the acceptance of the license and then to the actual installation. Here we need to wait for it till it is installed. Then we can either launch at the start or we are going to come back and look for it. After it is installed, we can just launch it. Here it depends on the license. You can choose concurrent. So choose authorized user license and here you enter the code. And next, next, and it will be activated. If you don't have this code, you can just contact me to check if I have some slots there so that I can uh, add you. Uh, so this is the, after successfully installing and licensing the software, we can customize it according to research purposes, especially according to EPA style, etc. So, we can just uh, check all those windows, the data view where we have the data, the variable view where we have the variables. Then we can go to edits, options, and we go to pivot tables. And we choose, for example, APA style times New Roman 12, apply and click OK. Now all the output will be in APA style tables automatically without doing any extra work of editing. Then we have those options again. We can change the locations, the charts, the output, the currency look the data, the viewer, the language. In terms of the language, we have different languages.